welcome to the next um, video on HTML uh, in the last video we have uh, tra we, we have um, done our the front layout of our um, e-commerce uh, website so we've done the logo and we learned this uh, radius to turn the logo into round then we've done our um, input which is we said input text or for text uh, typing and input file for file uploading and we've done our button and we gave this uh, top right and top uh, right bottom uh, uh, sorry the bottom right um, radius so in this uh, video we try to put some uh, menu around here or maybe down here uh, it's up to you it's a personal choice uh, some websites got a menu around here uh, and some of them is got using this side so menu around here it doesn't matter and some of them even have on the side which is called sidebar all right so we see what uh, we can do we try to put it here so you guys go ahead and um, fire up your zone which is um, this one uh, it's a process ID is 1,2248 and uh, that's a process ID and the port is running on port 80 and 443 uh, in the end um, you guys are gonna be familiar um, with MySQL, FileZilla, Mercury and Tomcat so and we're gonna learn uh, one by one uh, in the future videos but at the moment you guys just concentrate on um, HTML Alright, so that was our layout from the last video. In this video, we try to put uh, our menu. So we go ahead. We go ahead and see our logo, which is 60%. We give it to width of. Um, I'll put a background. I just want to show you guys. Background is E1, E1, E1. So uh, we, I think we've uh, done that in the last video. You've seen our um, this is our the 60% is this one so if you extend it to 100% it looks uh, so we're gonna do the width of 100% uh, or if you go just remove the width it's gonna be removed so that's our logo the div that's sitting inside this um, uh, top nav bar that's uh, this div sitting inside this div so for the menu because we want to do it in our logo so we create another div and we give it id of uh, menu bar so this has got an id of menu bar all right so in our css we remove this uh, background color and we come here because it's got an ID of uh, menu bar menu bar okay the first thing is um, because we've got a height and uh, width we want to give it to height and width so we want to give it to width of say 200 per pixels and height we see our logo what height is our logo it's got a height so the top nav bar has got a height of 120 pixels so we want to give it to height of 100 see we see what height is 100 looks like and we give it background color red and we see how it looks we, if you guys for example sometime not working you guys try to save both pages so we see how it looks because it's coming here even though that's inside our logo but we'll see how to fix that so what we do is that we do float and we do float right so we see how it looks in our menu bar see as we done float it moved right towards to the right uh, top corner of this um, our, our website so it moves right here 
so you guys just remember this is float if you do float left it moves it goes to the left by default is left because it goes from the left to right as I explained to you guys before it's a vector here and it's x axis here and y axis here anything you guys do it starts from the left and it starts from the top from the websites because it's got all these pixels here but if you guys specifically want this on the right you, you guys should mention that you want the float to float this uh, menu bar on the right all right so it's got a height of 100 so because our logo our uh, it's got a height of 120 all right so if we remove this height we see how it looks okay it removed it moved because we did not specify the height so if we put a height of 120 pixels all right so it's height of 120 pixels what about the width so we the width of 200 we make it 500 pixels I know 500 pixels a lot but we just try how it looks okay because it moved here it clashed here and couldn't fit here that's what it went down so okay we move it to 300 pixel we put a 400 pixel if not then we go to 300 pixels okay the 400 pixel is perfect right here all right so what we do is that we remove this background color we leave it to remove it for a while because we want to see our menu okay so it float right okay it is inside our um, menu so now uh, we do we learn um, uh, ul which is an order list so um, we start with ul ul is uh, an order list is very good for if you want to create a menus see if you guys go on the website it says home uh, product uh, our services uh, blah 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 uh, menu so that's all sitting here or you see some other website is sitting here uh, some sub website put it here even some websites got a three layer tire so one tire here here and here three layers here on top of each other and some of them they put a menu here so it's, it's a personal choice it depends uh, your choice your test so but this is all coming into an order list if you guys uh, put an order list in a menu then uh, you guys put it and inside this an order list you put a list li means list all right so we put a product and we put another li okay so we put a product we put another li we say login and we put another li we say sign up our register sign up we see how it looks okay so our um, list is coming like that so as we say that that's on order list uh, it's here but if you want to um, uh, put a menu bar ul so you put a menu bar but you guys make sure you put it on uh, separate because um, uh, you guys can put it like that okay background color so we put a red for our testing purposes okay that's our uh, menu bar sitting right there that's what it looks like ul okay that's a background color for the menu bar all right so with the menu bar we have assigned the width the height and the float because we want to see it on uh, on the right okay so with the menu bar an order list we want to uh, display it in line block 
because we want to see it in one line block and we also want to float it towards the right because sometimes the HTML render it in uh, in here so that's what is when it was here on the left and just jumped in towards the right all right so that's uh, float right now we're coming to the fun part okay so now we first we targeted the ID then we targeted the UL now we target the LI all right so how the LI is it's got an A sorry it's got a href so we put a hash inside because as we seen that with our index the href href links to another page another uh, CSS links to this CSS so href here again uh, we want to uh, link it our product to another page so we have to create the product page and login page and sign up page so we do uh, all of them separate we do href and we put a hash why we put a hash we put a hash because uh, at the moment we are uh, far away from uh, creating our pages so what happens that when we create uh, our pages here we put a product product page dot html we can do like that but at the moment because there is no product there is we haven't uh, created our uh, product page that's what we leave h uh, sorry h here so because that's how developers they do uh, and they put a something here to represent that they're gonna uh, it's gonna be filled soon so that's what we do all right so now we go our uh, menu menu bar ul li all right so what we want from uh, our menu bar li so the first thing we do is we try to put it um, some borders or something we try to display in line block okay so we want to display in line block we that's how it looks because we want to see it in one line all right so we created our inline block and then we bought a we put a, a list style list style type list style none because uh, we don't want any list style here at the moment okay so that one sitting there so we put a border left we want because we want uh, our um, menu to have a border uh, we want this to have a border here border here border here and border here so that's how we want to do it we want to put a border border left so we want to run a one pixel solid We want to put one pixel solid ff ff okay so we see that because it's got a borders in in here now it's got a borders at the back all right so now we want to text uh, align our text text align text align center because we want to align our text to center our text already aligned to the center 
and we want to put a, our background color we also want to put it orange Let's see we, we want to see how it looks with the orange so that's how our, our background color looks all right so we want to margin We want to put a margin top of 20 pixels. We see here with the margin, otherwise we put a padding. It looks like that. Okay, so we want to see the UL on uh, an order list border color. Uh, sorry, background. background color uh, we want to say it red we see want to see where the how much room we have so it looks like we have uh, room just around here because this moving float it float to the ul if you get rid of this float right okay now it moves here all right so because we put a float for the menu to the right and float for the um, uh, the first menu because we put a menu bar we put a float and it jumps right on the corner and we also put a float to the ul and it jumps from the right to the right so we moved right and inside that right it moved again to the right so we see it looks little bit okay but we want to bring it down so okay so it's red we leave it red in line block and we see if we can give it height and width say uh, in line block we give it um, oh sorry we've got a menu bar we already assigned a uh, height and width it is float right so <coughs> ul we put a display in line block because we want it to display in line block and background color okay li we're going down and we see that if you want to put a, a cursor pointer I'll show you guys what cursor pointer is this is a cursor pointer if you guys notice if you guys notice there is nothing coming happening here but when it comes here there is a hand type thingy coming around here because it's a cursor pointer because it points to this uh, uh, menu we guys can put to this search as well search button okay <coughs> excuse me uh, okay so our logo our search search button inside the search button you guys can do cursor pointer because it's gonna be pointing soon okay so as you guys notice see when I move around here hovering it's change as well I'm gonna show you guys soon that uh, if you guys if you want to do hover uh, it's just gonna change color if you want to do hover We've done our cursor pointer it's pointing so we try to bring down our uh, menu towards the center we see how we can do that <coughs> we say in line we give a height in line height line height maximum height and with line height uh, we say 20 pixels see that's the line height we go with the padding uh, I'll remove this in line height we do padding so the padding We tried with the padding of 15 pixels, 
15 pixels you see how the 15 pixel look like okay so that's a padding of 15 pixels all right that looks uh, okay but not very okay okay so we do padding of uh, 35 we see how the padding of 35 pixel looks like okay so it came here like that all right so we do padding of uh, 30 pixels because we're giving pixels all around four corners okay so now we give it a margin towards the top margin top we see how the margin top look like okay we always as already margin top we give it margin top of 20 pixels okay it's coming down so we want a little bit more down we give it to 30 pixels okay it's coming and that's what that's where we want so we go ahead and move our uh, remove our uh, uh, red color because the red color as I said for uh, uh, development purposes as you guys can see it looks cool because <coughs> it says that's our uh, product and that's the login and that's the sign up so that's how it's gonna look all right so because as you guys notice there is a lines here there is um, white lines because we put a white line okay I'll remove this because we already put our white line here that's FFF border left that's what this is the border left here that's for the border for all these elements the reason you can't see because the background of here is uh, already white that's what you can't see you guys can put any other border but because the background is white that's what we put a white here uh, so that's it for this uh, video mm, I hope uh, you guys like the video as um, I wrap up again I'll repeat again is uh, we have uh, put and we open ID div and we assign ID of menu bar inside here we open uh, we wrote this uh, UL an order list for the menu every menu in HTML starts with UL just remember guys so there's a, this kind of menu and you guys see if we go there and there's another menu opens here that's also UL that's just remember that that's also UL and it's got a li and if you want open another menu here that's all also going to be ul li so every time you want to open menu it has to be with ul and li just remember ul li is very very good thing you can apply it with tables because that's a totally different story but with the menus always uh, just remember always ul li so you and you guys can assign any id to this ul as well it doesn't have to be you can assign id no problem with this ul if you want to target this ul but in our case because we didn't target we want to target the li that's what we open so and the first thing we target this menu bar in uh, inside our css see uh, we target our uh, menu bar we assign this uh, position and everything and the second one we sign the ul which is an order list we assign it here and the ul inside this uh, menu bar and again we targeted this um, li so it's a step by step the first one the second one and the third one and that's a product login and sign up and as i said this is href is going to connect our page to another page which we're going to in a, in a future videos we're going to create this product page login page and sign up page so that's just remember to put this hash so the html reads this as that you guys gonna sign it so no problem all right that's it for uh, this video uh, i'll hope you like the video and i'll see you guys in the next video bye